Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another challenge map salvage. Now we are playing Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Now this is a really cool game. It was supposed to be like an iOS type game, you know, a handheld game. But they ended up taking it to computer and consoles and stuff. So I figured since I have it, I might as well make a video of it because they say that it's actually pretty short. That it's only like a couple of hours long. And so I figured that maybe, yeah, yeah, my, I started a little bit of it to get used to the controls and stuff, because they're a little bit bizarre, especially when it comes to a keyboard, as you'll probably soon find out, because it'll do the, ooh, China, 1526, it has been two years since Zhang Yong, the leader of the corrupt group of, you, oh, I have no idea how to say that, known as the Tigers, wiped out the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins. These tigers are Templars and secretly run China from the shadows using the Emperor as nothing but a puppet. Xiao Jun, one of the few survivors, has returned under the order of Wang Yangming, the new leader of assassins. Together they plan to hunt down the tigers and free China from its Templar control. They return to their old home in Mai Xishan Grotos. Once an assassin stronghold, now it is a Templar prison run by Gao Fang. To get close to their target, Xiao Jun allows herself to be captured. She carries a precursor artifact given to her by Ezio Auditore. Knowing that the Templars will want answers and the artifact to ensure her imprisonment. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> the box is empty, or should I say, incomplete. Where is the rest of it? We know who you are. We know who you were. You've come far for someone who was merely once a concubine. I will ask you again, assassin. What is this box? Where did it come from, and what is its purpose? Why continue to resist us? Look around you. No one is coming. We wiped out your order. There is no escape from here. Why would I want to escape? I am exactly where I want to be. Such arrogance! Ma Yong Cheng will make you talk. Let him try. No wonder your kind fell so far. My kind isn't done yet. Okay, so the idea is that since this is supposed to be only a couple of hours long, this entire game, I figure that I might be able to finish recording every part before uh, I'm able to start uploading normally again. So I'm going to record like all of it and complete an entire series for you guys. Uh, what am I doing? Hold sprint. I, oh, yeah, I know that. I thought he was telling me to climb something. <laughs> I was like, what am I climbing? Because it has the arrow, you know, showing the shift symbol. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah, the controls are a little weird because control's right underneath shift. But in order to slide, you have to be running while pushing control. And so it's like, you have to hold down, you have to hold down the control huh? button with the bottom half of your pinky. It's really weird. But, you know, it's possible. Oh, no, he's a goner! <laughs> Poor guy. Oh well, he got what was coming to him. He's not an assassin. He really thought he could escape. How pathetic of an attempt. Wow. W. So the controls are rather simple, but just oddly placed on the keyboard. I'm sure the controller is a lot better, without a doubt. But I still like playing with the keyboard anyway, just because I was able to set it up faster. You know, <laughs> that's pretty much why I'm just I'm lazy. But you know, whatever. So where should we... Can we go up there? Sometimes you can and some... Nope. Okay. Sometimes you can go up to other places and run around because there are secrets to find. But I guess it is the very beginning, so they probably wouldn't do that yet. 
but they no doubt will in a few seconds. Control. So this is a really cool game. I was super impressed, especially after I played Unity. I I was going to make a series of Unity, but it just didn't feel worth it. The game was so broken. There were glitches happening every two seconds. I was just like, I can't, I can't do this. And as you guys probably saw from my video where I showed like a few seconds of it, and it was so messed up. It was so broken. It was like fast forwarding and jumping and skipping. It was a nightmare. So I can't even, I can't even, uh, what's the point of coming up here? Whatever. So yeah, I can't even like record that game. Even if I wanted to. Take cover. So this is a cool mechanic. I like this because there are a lot of things that you can do with it. You can like jump to other covers and things, and then you can also like assassinate from the darkness, you know. And <clears throat> sorry about that. I'm getting over a cold, so I'm still just like, Ugh. but okay. I know you don't want to be seen. You'll get higher score in shadow, but then if you kill people, you'll get a higher score in like brawling or whatever the heck it is. Yeah. So anyways, so. I whoop, I know if you don't want me to remain very close to them let me do stuff <laughs> I wish there was an option to skip the tutorial that like I feel like every single game needs that feature you know it's just like a prerequisite to making a game so that people coming back to it don't have to be bored <laughs> yeah this is a really cool game though I love how everything flows perfectly and like the movements feel semi heavy but at the same time it feels like you can control them very easily and fluently because you don't want a game that feels super stiff otherwise you'll barely you'll get mad at it all the time you'll be like it's the controls fall you know it's like it's like Super Mario 64 that's a very good example it's a wonderful game by any means necessary it is it is by far one of my favorite Mario games, but the controls are crazy stiff, and Mario feels like he's some kind of machine running around. Press C to pick up body. And then hide him! Yay! Yeah, so he seriously just feels like some kind of a machine or something. And it's great and all, but it could be very frustrating when you fall off a cliff because you felt like you didn't turn fast enough or something you know even though in most games you would have turned a lot faster or whatever it, it just felt really messed up in a lot of ways oh jeez, I forgot about that yeah it's kind of crazy you can also hide bars in there if it'll let me pick it up oh great now he's even farther away okay got him go in there and oh yeah so I think we're getting closer to like the real end of the tutorial, which means the beginning of the fighting tutorial, but you know, whatever. Assassinate from hiding places! Man, these poor guys, they have no idea what's happening. They're just like, minding their own business, walking around, and then people are disappearing. It's like, that's so sad. V activate eagle version. So, yeah, you can see kind of where their path goes. You can see where it ends is the most important thing. And that way you could be like, all right, they're going to turn around right now and I'll be able to just hop on down. That wasn't, I know, uh, I'm not here. Holy crap, how did they? Yes, oh no. I'm dead. Unless I can run away and fast enough. Ah! Ah! I'm not here. You didn't see nothing. Ow. Dang it, I almost escaped. <laughs> That was stupid of me. I can't believe I jumped into him. That was... Oh, man. I need to walk down the ladder thing slowly. Or crawl down or whatever. Climb down, there's the word. Get up there. Instead of doing something stupid, like jumping halfway across the map. Okay, yeah, V, cool. <laughs> Go away. Go away! I, if if you didn't know this before, I suck at stealth games in general. So, chances are in later levels when it gets really hard, I'm gonna be really bad at this game. <laughs> That's just, like, I have the game Thief, and I get caught 
all the time. It's not like every once in a while. It's all the time. I'm being seen by every guard ev around every corner and just booking it. <laughs> I'm so bad at stealth games. It's hilarious. Press 3, firecrackers, and then G. <sighs> See, G's right next to F, and so I have to, like, let go of the WASD keys in order to uh, throw a firecracker or whistle or whatever. Which makes it kind of annoying for when I have to start running, you know? But, so, like I said, the controls on the keyboard are a little funky. But they're, they're doable as it goes. Oh, I think because I already got those secrets from playing it my first time around to practice, that they're gone. Like, all the secrety stuff. I already have them. So that's interesting. Even though you start a new game, they're still considered gotten. Ah, no! Oh, okay, he can't see this far. That's fine. Go away! Go away! Thank you. I think my major problem is just I'm very impatient. So, stealth games are not my cup of tea. Oh, you cannot see me. I am a shadow in the night. A darkness in the... I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. This makes zero sense. Run! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Firecrackers. Ammo full. All right. So, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, because now there's a bunch of them instead of just, like, one guy. But if I remember... could help me. No, no, first, I, I remember how to do this. I, um, you, you go down when they're not looking, you kill this guy, and then you pick up his body so that they don't see him, because they don't walk this far, so as long as you take his body over here, and then drop it, they won't see it. And then you just crouch and wait for them to come over, they'll stop right about there, and then they will turn around, and then you walk over to here... You go into the shadow, whoop, and then you wait for them to turn around, and then you go past them. It's relatively easy, you know, figured it out in just like a minute or so. But once again, this is just tutorial stuff, so it's supposed to be easy. Wah! Yay, we got the sword! Now it's going to teach us how to fight. My revenge can begin now. And this part's pretty cool, because you kind of get to see, like, her sensei, or whatever, her t trainer. Prepare to defend. Time to destroy skills. Press C to block while aiming with the. Ah! So you have to like walk forward towards Man them when pressing C, which is annoying because it makes it kind of. I have to move my pointer. I have to move my. I don't want to yes. use. Let's see. Because I always want to keep my finger on the spacebar because jumping and running away from an enemy is like a huge lifesaver a lot of the time. Dang it. Yeah, got him. They are. Oh yeah. This tactic is also good to escape from combat. Yeah, it is. Attack this enemy. But I always forget about it. Okay. So there's the light attack. Good. Standard attacks. It are sucks. Great, but they give little <laughs> damage. Strike the enemy harder. Aye aye, sensei. Why are ya? And then it's cool because once you injure him so much, you get to do like a cool ending final move. Like this, see? He's weak. Finish him. Oh, that was a boring one. There are cooler ones than that. What? Wah! Oh yeah, I'm a ninja. You didn't even see me coming. Haha, <laughs> see that's one of that's one of the better ones. I understand, Master. I'm a ninja. Why am I still like this? Put away, put away the sword. <laughs> there we go. You hold down shift and she'll sheathe her sword, as it were. Oh yay! So there's some phone that close quickly, so you have to like ah. And then, ah! But you know, that's easy. So let's get a move on. Ooh, so here's a guy that we have to save out of prison by getting a key. You know, just normal Assassin's Creed stuff. Gotta snag a key from somebody. Except for this one's a little bit different. And there's also, if you want to know, you'll probably notice it anyway. There's a secret down there. I already got it. But there's a secret down underneath the starting platform. So you should go ahead and grab that when it starts. 
Can't believe I even remembered that, to be honest. There's probably a couple of secrets that I've already forgotten, but you can normally see them, and they're pretty obvious, so... You probably won't have any troubles finding a majority of the secrets. I will save you! Rescue the assassin informant. Hong Liu. 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 So, okay, so you go into vision mode, and you can see, oh, that guy's yellow. He must have a key. And so you're like, well, better go kill him. Ah! Don't look at me. I'm very camera shy. Thank you. Okay, you can go around corners too, which is nice. Wah! Let's just take this guy out. Here we go. Problem solved. And then we'll just make our way up. Easy peasy lemon squeegee, as they say. Okay, firecrackers, good. Kill this guy. Oh crap! Hurry! Hurry! Hurry, let me pick you up! Ah! We're not here! We're not here! We're not here! <laughs> He's like, where'd that other guard go? Eh, probably bathroom breakers and, and nothing to worry about. Whoop. Okay, now we have to wait for that guy to look away, and then we shall kill him and hide him in the darkness. Come on, dude. Hide you in the darkness. I think the hitbox on these guys is a little finicky when it comes to... <gasps> I wasn't there. What are you talking about? Crap. <laughs> I screwed that up <laughs> pretty badly. Now he's gonna look in the hiding place and he's like, oh, nobody's there. Hmm, weird. Guess it was just my imagination. Okay, he's turned around for now. Okay, he's going back. Let's kill him. Got him! Yay, we have a key! And then you just come back around, easy peasy, and that's where it teaches you to jump around walls. Which I already did, so it's kind of weird that it didn't teach me that sooner. But, you know, whatever. Escape. Survive. I will escape too. After I take out my target. Oh, next door. So, we're making pretty good progress. We're almost getting near the end of, like, the first... Oh, we are at the end. Correction. Of the first level. Assassinate. Close enough to kill you. Where is the box you took from me? Far from your reach by now, assassin. One of your tiger brothers must have it. No matter. I will find which one and retrieve it from his still warm corpse. Do you even know what the box is? I know it belongs to the Brotherhood. How naive. Thinking you can retrieve the box. Thinking that killing me will achieve anything. Killing just one of you will not give me the vengeance I seek. You are the first of the tigers to fall, but you will not be the last. Oh yeah, so here's where it shows you like, oh you were good at being sneaky, 800 points gold. You were good at killing people, you were good at fighting, you know. <laughs> but I didn't do any fighting, so whatever. Because I didn't need to. This was once a safe place for us assassins. Sung Yong's tigers saw to the end of that. Their forces surprised and overwhelmed us, all but wiping out the Brotherhood. Gao Feng's death will send a message to the Templars. The Assassins have returned. The Assassins have returned! <laughs> if I was an Assassin, it would be an embarrassment to the entire Order. <laughs> They'd be like, I'd be falling off roofs and things, and I'd be missing the uh, hay, hay bales. They'd be like, dude, how'd you miss that? <laughs> like, it's so easy. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'd probably be dead. Let's be honest here. <laughs> what? 
synchronized so you can get like a cool overall look at the map. I've only done this once though, so I don't know if you end up doing it more, you probably do. That's a pit of death right there, is what that is. <laughs> So you can see the literally it's the whole level. Whee from start to finish. I don't even know where the end is, but yeah, it goes for quite a while. But so let's let's stop looking at this because it's it's honestly it's not very helpful. It doesn't do much for me, anyway. And I, I'm not gonna memorize all that, so <laughs> whatever. It's just cool. Press D and C. Why would I want to dismount the wall in the middle of two enemies? I could kill him. <laughs> oh yeah! That works. <laughs> That's a much better way of doing it. They were literally just wanting me to jump in between them. Like, that's a stupid idea. That's not good. Why would I do that? <laughs> it would probably just get me killed. Oop, let's get this guy. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. I'm a pretty good assassin when it comes to these games, but I'm not good at stealthy hiding this. What? Oh, See you later, suckers. Oh yeah. So we're getting some good movement here. If we keep this up, we might be able to finish the second level before my time ends. Because I'm trying to go for an hour video. And it's already been like a half hour, so what? Oh yeah. Oh, that was easy. You know, like I said, we're making some pretty good time getting around to these guys. We're just ending up in the right place at the right time, not having to wait too long for them to turn around or whatever. Oh, guards couldn't call for reinforcements to help in a fight. Reinforcements are hidden behind these doors. Closed doors, whatever. Same general thing. Whoop. Go away. Go away. Okay, D in space. D in space. Oh yeah, I could just kill him, but nah, let's just go. That way they won't call reinforcements. I was, I forgot to push space there, I was confused. I got an achievement, the invisible woman. Yay! Apparently I'm doing better than I did the first time I played this level. A lot better, actually. <laughs> Holy crap, like I'm just blasting through this. You'd think I'm some kind of veteran expert at this game, but... I suck at this game, actually. <laughs> and most assassins... Ooh! Never got that before. See, that's what the secrets look like. Like the little tiny data... Data fluctuations, like in the other Assassin's Creed games. Jump! So, I'm wondering... If these are like... If it is still a simulation, because I'm getting these weird data things... Who's simulating her? Like, who's in the Animus right now, controlling her? That's what I want to know, because it's obviously not going to be... Uh, what's his name? I always forget his name for some reason. But, you know, the main character of, like, the first three Assassin's Creed's. So, who is this person? And how are they... Obviously, they're related to her in some way, so... Chances are they're Chinese. It's gotta... Whoa! I almost jumped straight in front of him. <laughs> Whoops. Get some of that. Got it. Aim... If, if you wait for them to be underneath it, they'll get crushed and die. <laughs> Perfect. And then we just... Whoop. Yeah! There we go. Perfect. Actually, let's just go. Ah! <laughs> no problems. So, yeah... This is pretty much the game. I mean, I'm, not, I'm probably not doing it that much of justice because now I'm good at it. Or at least I've memorized this section of the game. And so I'm not having any troubles. When, you're ha when you have problems, it's really funny because you're just like running and screaming from, Ooh, I'll do that. I can't do that. Okay, um, there's a wall there. So what do I do now? I can't seem to... That must have been a secret, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, this is where it teaches me. You can throw darts while on a ladder. This is what it's going to teach me. Yep. Throwing knife or climbing up stuff is cool. But now what am I going to do? I just... Um, I didn't do anything. Hiya! 
Oh. Uh. Got him. No problem. So, there's that. Every once in a while you end up in a tight situation, but you can normally get out of it pretty quick. Ooh, crap. There's a secret down to her! I'll get that in a sec. Oh, I, I remember this part. I killed two of them with the box thing. And then I think everybody was out to kill me. Let's do it again. Yeah! Awesome, secret. Okay, now what? Um, I gotta go up. I gotta go back up, so let's go down here, because you can jump up over them, which is nice and makes things relatively quick. So let's do that, jump over to the side, and jump over the hole. Oh yeah. And then we can kill this guy by doing that. See, last time I think I only killed one of them, and so everybody noticed, and they called reinforcements, and that's probably why I didn't get the secret the first time, because I just, I screwed it all up very poorly. It was miserable, to say the least. Assassin Gold! Assassinations 3, sweet. Which I think was everybody, so there's a plus. Let's test your reflexes. Oh, this part. Ow. Still sharp. Ow. Oh, oh crap, I suck at this. <laughs> there we go. Good work. Thank Close you. For the kill. Aye aye, sir. Yay! Excellent, Sal. Your training is almost done. I forgot you only have to press C on that one. I was pushing forward in C, and I was just screwing it up miserably. But we don't even need to worry about that, because we're just going to go in and assassinate him. No problem. So let's get this guy. Let me pick you up and toss him in there, right? Why does it say W on this? I'm pushing W and nothing's happening. Maybe it was a secret. I don't know. It's not letting me do anything, so I'm going to assume that I, I mean, it looks like it's open, so I'm going to assume that I already have that. Open says me. Ah! Oh man, it looked like it was going to cut my head off. <laughs> that would have been bad. So yeah, and then you can use the rope dart to jump on things like that. It's really cool. Eventually you start, like, releasing, like, boats and stuff. You'll see that in the next level, if I can remember correctly. But it, it does get really cool. I like the idea of this game. The side, it's like, um, ah, the, the original Prince of Persia is what it feels like, which is cool. But it feels more fluent and easier to control, which is nice. Because, let's be honest, the original Prince of Control, the, the original Prince of Control, the original Prince of Persia had really bad controls. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I keep combining sentences and then it makes zero sense. I'm just like, whoop, screwed that up again. <laughs> go down. <gasps> okay, don't go down. I shouldn't have done that. That would have been really bad. <laughs> now you can go down. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm so... I, I, last time, I'm pretty sure I probably killed myself at a point like that. Four for darts. Aim... Oh, they're noise darts, so when you shoot it, it goes pop, pop, pop. Noise. And they're like, what is that? Ooh. So you throw them, and they have, like, little bells, I guess, attached to them, maybe? That's what I'd assume, anyway. Because it, it doesn't make a very loud noise. Come and get it. Waha! Attack from behind! Or, I guess it was from the side, so... Whatever. <laughs> and then you can hide in bushes, but... This is cool because, see the bushes move? So if you're so close to them, they'll see the bushes move and they'll be like, who's there? And then they'll go and investigate and then you'll die. <laughs> so, there's also some curtains or something that do the same thing. So you gotta be kinda careful with your hiding places, cause some of them will give you away. Why are Assassin's Gold! Yay! Okay, um... Whoop! <laughs> that was easy. See you later, sucker! Oh yeah, we're making some good progress. Now we just gotta wait for these two losers to move. And then we'll just sneak right past them like we weren't even there. Goodbye! Oh, I'm so stupid! <laughs> oh, jeez. 
I just jumping off cliffs. See, that's the problem with uh, leaps of faith. I get too. I get too complacent, I feel like I could jump off of anything and survive, and so I start jumping off of everything, which gets me killed a lot, <laughs> all the time. And the cool thing is, the majority of this, I've actually been playing with just one hand, because the only time that you need the mouse is to assassinate someone, and you don't do that very often. So I'm pretty much able to play this whole game with just one hand. Which is nice. It it makes it feel more relaxing, as it were. There's one scroll. Ah! Ooh, I'll get this guy right now. Swing. Oh yeah. And then we'll jump on down. He'll see the body, but we'll assassinate him along the way. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh dang it! He dodged me, jerk. Oh well, we'll just get him. No problems. Okay, so we want to get up there, so we got to jump on the cage, and then jump up and go over there. There we go. Because then we can assassinate this other guy from above. I, f I feel like one of those speedrunners. I'm actually doing things right. <laughs> actually, well, a lot of things right anyway. Okay, go down here. We're going to take out this guy that's down here. Because he's like, there he is. We don't want it him to interfere with all of our dealings which you probably won't really oh there must have been a secret there that was probably why you wanted to kill him if I can remember correctly but I can't so whatever you're on your own <laughs> and leap yeah this game is so cool I love it I just adore this game it's so much fun ah! there's another scroll Yay! You always want to slide under these things because you crawl real slow, but sliding goes real fast. So just to speed things up a bit. Okay, now I think the rest of the scrolls and everything are on the other side, so we got to go back to the beginning. And there's a thing that trails across the trench of despair. Yeah, right there. Whoa! <sighs> okay, that was close. No problems. Okay, so I think we can assassinate this guy. We'll just jump down on him. Or not. Crap. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll hide in the darkness, and when he comes back, we'll assassinate him and pull him in. Or better yet, let's, let's kill him right here. Oh, that's actually a bad idea. No, don't do that. No, <laughs> no. Because then we won't have anywhere to hide him. You cannot hide them in those tiny little tubs, which I learned. I thought I thought because it was green, kind of like the doors and stuff, that you would be able to hide a body in it. You can't. It doesn't work. Which sucks. There we go. Got rid of him. And now we gotta get rid of him. Which is gonna be easy. We just gotta get right here. And there we go. And now we should probably hide his body just in case. Better to be safe than to be sorry. Because we don't want to be seen. Especially in this area. For like one major reason, if you haven't seen it already, there's like a million doors. A million closed doors. There's closed doors here, there are closed doors up there probably. There's gonna be... Wait a sec. Do you see that? I see a secret. I see a... See, like I said, most of the secrets you can see... Oh, made it. Oh, that's a scroll. Never mind. So we got all three of the assassin scrolls, so that's good. Now we just have to take care of these guys and get out of here. Which is a problem because, as you can see, there's another dog pit thing. So if you make any noise at all here, close to the dog anyway, he'll start barking and then you'll be in trouble. Okay, so let's whistle to him. So let's go one, make this big, go. And then we're going to take him out. Without a problem. Oh yeah. Alright, so we got taken care of, got this area taken care of pretty much. Most of the guards are down anyway. Except for down there. So we gotta take care of these guys quickly now before he notices. Yeah! Alright, and then I think we're on to the next area. Sweet, so that wasn't too bad. Oh, what's this? There's a way down. Let's go down here. Is this the. Was I supposed to come over here earlier? Oh my goodness, how did I not see that? I know exactly where I am. So, anyways, 
I didn't know that led to there, but whatever. I just didn't see it, I guess. So I went all the way back to the beginning for no reason. But that's fine. It didn't take very long. And we're still doing good on time, so it's all good. We should be able to finish the second area. Oh, poor dude. Walk past bird cages and you'll get alerted. And that's bad. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm not here. I'm not... I'm not... I'm here. Ow! Okay. Time to be a ninja. Ow! Two shots. Okay, don't jump into the birdcage like an idiot. Note to self. Don't be a moron. <laughs> That's pretty much how these things go, isn't it? Oh, man. That's exactly what I do in every game. I always do something stupid, even when I know it's coming. Like, they obviously set this up so that the next area would have one. It, that's why they were teaching me about it. But nope, I'm an idiot anyway. So you gotta walk past them. That way they don't start chirping like, <gasps> crazy. Okay, take this guy out. And then, and then, ow, ow, go, go. Oh, okay, you gotta take the guy up above first. And then the guy's down below to get that secret. That extra secret, secretess. So, okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out the archer above, and then we'll go back down below, take out the other archer, and then take out that swordsman in sword combat, as it were. In one-on-one -on -one combat, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I, I always know what I wanna say, but I never say it. It never comes out. I always end up saying something stupid. That makes zero sense. Get him! Yay! And I got him outside of the birds, too. Perfect. Now let's get this secret. I'm not here! Oh, man! How do I do this? It's a, it's impossible. It's impossible. Fast forward. Oh yeah, I should have done that before. Firecrackers do amazing things. Gotta remember that for the future. If there are two enemies next to each other, just use a firecracker. Takes care of everything. Oh wait, why am I sneaking? Everybody's dead. I don't have to worry about the bird anymore. Oh well, whatever. Whee! Yay, next area. Oh, this is the really big area. This one's a little bit tougher. Because there's just so much that could possibly go wrong, you know? Okay, so I need uh, that. Aim. Fire. Yay! And then I can get this. You know, I should have gotten the ammo after I shot it. But whatever. Okay, I think I can make it. <gasps> <gasps> ah! He's looking down. Hurry. Hurry while he's down. Woo. Woo. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Perfect. No problems. Everything's fine. Even better. Make sure to take his body a little bit further. <laughs> there we go. Now, now they won't see him. So we're making some good progress in this larger, more difficult area. We definitely want to take out that stupid archer though. He's always in the way, making things inconvenient for me. Ah, a douche. Okay, I don't think I can get him from here. So let's get up here before that guy sees us. And let's try getting him from above or something. Because that would be ideal. Got ammo full. Whoa! Whoa! I'm not here! Okay, that's as far as he can see. Oh, there's this other guy though. He probably can't see this far either. Yep. Called it. So we just gotta wait for these two to turn around, like they just did not too long ago, and then I'll run up to the top level and take out the guy up above first. Like this. Hiya! And I'm gonna hide in here. 
and I'll get him from the shadows so that we have a place to hide him. And see, if you if you get him over here, the other guy will see you, but if you get all the way to the left, he'll barely be out of his sight, and so even if he's looking in this direction, it won't even matter. Which is awesome, and super convenient. Okay, go that way. And take this guy out. Crap! You hear nothing! Whatever. Nobody's coming. Nobody can get up here, so it's fine. That's the good thing about this. When you're up on a high platform or something and a bird goes off, nobody's gonna know. Because <laughs> nobody nobody can climb up here like you can. Which is awesome. Whoa! Okay, so as you know as you might have noticed, when guards are looking at another guard, their vision gets obscured directly behind them. So as long as you're crouched behind them or something, they won't even see you. Which is super convenient, to say the least. Alright, and then we'll get this. Looks like there was a secret in that chest, too. So, you definitely want to come up here and take care of these two guys if you want that secret. Man, I'm just, like, showing you guys all the secrets. This is, like, an achievement guide or something. Ooh! Nope, okay. It still won't let me get it, because I've already gotten it, probably. Go behind this guy, and... Bloop! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Got him in the head first, right? Oh, here we go. I think this is the end of the level. Yay! Leap of faith! What the... Leap of faith! <laughs> is it done? Gao Feng is dead, Sifu. As is Ma Yong Chen. The butcher? Good. Our plan worked. Who's next? Patience, sister. We must move carefully. Zhang Yong and his tigers control the empire now. He is down two tigers after tonight. Gao Feng did not have the box. I did not retrieve it in time. Worry not, young one. We knew that was a risk. To allow yourself to be captured without the box would have meant certain death. We will get it back. Maybe the Templars will even lead us to the missing piece. Perhaps. But now I'm afraid we have just given our enemies a dangerous weapon. Take some rest, little sister. Together, we will free our land from the Templars and their pawns. Zhang Yong and his tigers. We will rebuild our brotherhood. Alright, so that seems like a very good stopping place. Since we're getting close to the end of our time, anyway, only about 15 minutes till an hour or so, we'll go ahead and just stop it there. So I hope that all of you enjoyed. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you next time. Bye!